mkali mzuri sana wageni wakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna matata Hi, my name is Sandra Thaxter. I've been working in Kenya with our small nonprofit from Massachusetts here for more than 10 years. I think I've been to Kenya 15 times. When I go, I, I see children. I, I don't go on big safaris. I spend my time visiting schools and children, bringing computers, teaching them coding. Um, also connecting them to kids in the U.S. We often run projects, little Zoom programs, where kids in Kenya talk to kids in the U.S. about global warming, about why their crops aren't growing, about government corruption, about um, girls' education. And I think that the Kenyan kids know they're a part of a bigger world. I've visited children in schools in um, near Nairobi. I went to Kibero, Kibera, and visited a school there. Taita, I go to every year. And um, I've also been to schools in Tika, in Tea Country. I actually climbed up a little bit of Mount Kenya one year, and it was pouring rain almost all the way up until I got to this lodge and spent the night, and then I came right back down. But that was beautiful, and Kenya's beautiful. It's a beautiful country. I love being there and seeing these huge horizons, and when weather happens, it's big weather. <laughs> that rainstorm was a big rainstorm. <clears throat> but I mostly, I love the children, I'm amazed at how smart they are, what wonderful potential they have to solve, not just Kenya's problems, but probably bigger problems than that. And let me see, I, I was there first in 2009 when the roads were terrible, and I had to ride a matatu and, and a motorbike. I always ride on the picky <laughs> because you can't get there unless you ride on the picky. And... Um, I've been to, um, so I, I've ridden, so the first year I rode on a motorbike, and then it got a little bit better the next time. There were a couple of paved roads. The worst road is from Niro Nairobi to Voi. Uh, that is the worst road. And last time I went, I rode the train. And man, that train is the most beautiful thing. And all, I saw all of you Kenyans there riding in the train feeling so good. Um, I was there in that last election when they closed down the polls. That was the day I crossed the border from Uganda to Bengoma. And everybody, you know, there are all these security alerts. But it was fine. We just crossed the border. And uh, we went to Bengoma Town, and everything was shut down. <clears throat> and yes, yeah, so we couldn't go to the bank for three days, but, but that was fine. <clears throat> and then I was there when Obama was there. And you know, as an American, it was the first time I've been in another country when I could say I felt proud of my president. And I was proud to be an American that, that day when Obama was there. You know, I came to Kenya because of this One Laptop Per Child program that started in 2007, I think. And <clears throat> Nicholas Negroponte at MIT said, we can change the world if children get these computers. If every child gets a computer, they can build their own knowledge. And um, so when I went there, I met the smartest guys in all of Kenya because they were people who'd study technology, believed in its future, and wanted to make sure that plenty of kids got computers. So 
I, I felt so blessed to meet all these smart people who now are quite successful. They have their own businesses. One of them has a blockchain business and he flies all over Africa telling governments how to write secure code. So it's been a great adventure. Um, if you want to talk to me and meet, meet us at Small Solutions, you can send it to Sandra at smallsolutionsbigideas.org. That's my email. We have a Facebook page and my telephone number. Sure, call me. That's fine. 617-320-1098. So in my life, I've been many things, but I'm having so much fun in Kenya and learning so much. And it just makes me happy to be doing this work. <laughs>